The women in Battlefield 5 accepted, EA says, or don't buy the game. And their training artist Patrick Soderlund says, the people lashing out against women in the new Battlefield trailer are uneducated. Wow, what a hell of a thing to say to your fan base. <laughs> the initial backlash was laced with cries for historical accuracy, but EA's chief creative officer, Patrick Soderlund, says this gets the facts wrong. These are people who are uneducated. They don't understand that this is a plausible scenario. Dang, what? It's true. There's a rich history of women fighting in the Second World War. Even if it wasn't a historical fact, Soderlund seems to argue that it would hardly matter. Listen, he says, this is a game, and today gaming is gender diverse. Ooh, okay. Well, I guess can't argue with that. I don't know how... I don't know what that's going to do to your sales, though. I mean, lashing out against your fan base like that. That seems kind of productive. That seems like you're shooting yourself in the foot there, buddy. I... Irregular, irregular, man, man. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Irregular Man. Come on at you with another video. And, man, I don't know if anyone has heard the news, but it looks like EA and Patrick Soderlund have parted ways. Not only that, they left him a hefty little severance package to the tune of a few million dollars and <laughs> they look like they've dropped a little bit of their uh, let's just say embellishment in favor of a more historically accurate Battlefield 5 I guess the customer is always right but anyway let's take a look at uh, what they're talking about here so Battlefield 5 subreddit says it's had enough with historical accuracy. Battlefield 5 doesn't care about historical accuracy. However, Battlefield <laughs> never been historically accurate. Battlefield 5 is very historically accurate. Uh, so you can see there's a lot of different opinions about this game. However, if you looked at my intro and paid attention, you know that this is the reason why they walked back this whole um, women in the game having prosthetic limbs and shooting guns and having paint on their face. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I get it. You, you want to cater to fans of Fortnite. It's not going to work. Just make your game. There's a lot of different things that can be said, but one thing you want to do is you want to make a game that fans want to play. Catering to a certain audience doesn't usually work. And that's the whole idea of how social justice comes into play in these games. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having women in the game. I have no problem with that. Matter of fact, I encourage you just to add a little bit of flavor to the game, if, if not anything else. I mean, there, I think there were women snipers. Uh, I think, I don't know how many women were on the front lines, however, I, I don't really think that would be accurate. And I, to be honest, video games aren't really especially this type of game, especially Battlefield, I don't think it's really ever been historically accurate. Not truly, but it leans more toward accuracy versus fiction. 
Battlefield 5 has failed history on math that the game has no meaning. And anyone here read a book? Oh, look who wrote it. Come on. <laughs> oh, bias. Bias. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, good job making a unrealistic SJW World War II game on Twitter. See the downvotes on your YouTube trailer video? You had till October to fix this and give us a realistic, gritty World War II experience. Very disappointed with the new Battlefield trailer. Hmm. You think? So here's the problem. With so, so many issues along the lines of pre-orders. I think what EA has decided to do is kind of walk back this whole idea of um, being historically inaccurate and kind of fudging the lines a little bit and kind of going with more traditional, more accurate type of game. I think what EA was trying to do was just reach out to a different audience, maybe kind of assuage the, the fears of uh, the female audience maybe. Or just people that are uh, are just worried about the game not having any female representation. Um, I really don't. I look at it like this. There's nothing. Once I, I've said this, there's nothing wrong with having a diverse cast, a diverse um, choice of combatants within the game. Totally fine with that. The problem is though, is it going to be good for sales? You know, if you have this huge constituency fighting against what they think is um, something that should not even be in the game, or if they just don't like it, if they I mean, this is why you this is why you throw the bait out there. This is this is why you send out a trailer. This is why you let people know what you're what you're building because if they don't respond well, your test group doesn't respond well, then you know you have to make some changes. I think if they're saying they don't like it, man, you gotta do something about it. You gotta meet somewhere in the middle. I think the game can be everything that everybody wants scale back a little bit of the the unreality and give the players what they want give the people that are going to be the the base for the game who traditionally buy the game who you know will buy the game those are the people that you cater to if you're going to go star wars route and just create something totally out of thin air that nobody wants nobody likes and eventually tank the whole series and go right ahead. It's all on you. But if you're paying attention to the the audience, paying attention to what they want, then you'll be all good. Okay. So as far as news goes, it says Battlefield 5 is delayed to November 20th to make final adjustments. So it looks like they're going to make some meaningful changes to the game. GamesRadar.com Alright. So what are they saying here? You've also spurred us to make some meaningful improvements to the core gameplay experience, including adjusting the gameplay tempo, improving soldier visibility, and reducing the friction. Hmm. Well, what they need to do is reduce buyer friction. That's what they need to do. Uh, today we're announcing that Battlefield 5 will have a new launch date, November 20th, 2018. Let me give you a little bit of insight. How we arrived at this new date. Okay, so you have told us that you are seeing an increased focus on squad play. Which, of course, is uh, a reference to our uh, Fortnite players also spurred us to make some meaningful improvements to the core gameplay experience 
and it's probably talking about change a little bit of changes with the with the female character. And so the beta is around the corner, moving to launch date. Well, with the uh, departure of Sodalin, I think the game um, it has potential. I haven't always been a first first player shooter player. I'm not I'm not one of those type of guys. However, I'm not that bad at it. I will play the games. I'll have fun with it. Um, I'm in I'm in favor of of having fun with anything. You know, I remember when uh, Mirror's Edge came out, I didn't know what to make of that, but I really enjoyed playing it. The first one, anyway. I, didn't, I never got around to the, the, the second iteration. I you know, just never hit uh, my prelude. I, I just didn't want to play it. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button until it turns into a bunch of stars and sparkles and explodes in your fingertips. Uh, if you didn't like this video, then you know what you can do with that. However, please go ahead and subscribe. I will be hitting you with more videos just like this one. Um, I have fun with it. Uh, I really like doing research about these type of games because and these type of issues because man it, it really is telling how we respond to them and how the core audience responds and we really want to know if the developers are paying attention all right this is the regular man i'm signing off peace